Okay. Two hour game time goal. I think that is fantastic. Number one, I don't like sitting through a long football game. And I'm sorry, I'm not a, maybe a, a major sports <laughs> fan like you are, but sometimes these games can get a little tedious. I, I, no, I agree. If I agree. we make these fast paced, get rid of halftime, let's go. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you got to give the player, you, you, I mean, maybe shorten halftime a little bit, but no, not, uh, no, no, no. Not because get rid of it. You got to give the players some no, rest, Joey. I, I disagree. You gotta, you, players I disagree. Gotta recover from the first half. I disagree. Uh, uh, their physical. How uh, many games? How many games? How many games have you seen? change after halftime because the momentum is gone how many teams have no, lost yeah, after halftime you cannot get rid of halftime in a football game joey you gotta allow these players rest you're gonna kill them but if you don't give them enough breaks but but the gotta, result I, no i'm agree i agree with maybe short in the halftime but you have to have in halftime joey i bet you if i were to put a percentage together it would probably be 80 percent of NFL games, the, the the way the outcomes of the games take place is after halftime. Boy, you want to kill these How players? Many? No, man. no, BS, BS. These guys are getting paid millions of dollars. Yeah, but not to get themselves killed. Joey. Who's getting killed? Joey, you have to have halftime. That is how. That's an outrageous, outrageous remark to get rid of halftime. You have to have halftime. You got to give these players rest, Joey. Brian Anthony, if your team. If your team has a chance to win the game based off of their momentum in the second quarter and to keep the game going, don't you want them to win? Ah, no, nah. if, you, if you're a professional team and you got, you know, uh, that's why you got trainers, that's why you got everything. If you're a professional team and it, and you're making millions of dollars, you should be able to take a break and then knowing that when you come back in the second half, you can still have that same but momentum and but, confidence. But, but you're calling it, you're calling well, they're it, not amateurs. I know, but you're calling it taking a break. That's why they have a bunch of backup players on the bench let no. them come in and give your star that's players not, a break that's not how the game works joey that's not how football works well, oh, that's how the xfl is going to work he <laughs> said no. he said no half times on the press conference are you kidding me he said there's no, no way half that's going to go that, there's no way that's going to fly there's I th no way that's going to fly i think that is exciting i say no half times as well you say yes but the of logic course. the logic of second half uh uh teams that they they call that right oh this uh, uh the patriots are a second half team or the no BS, there should be no second half logic. You play the game, you go all the way through, and we find out who wins. Oh, uh, man, you're living in some fantasy football land now. Uh, I think it's going to be exciting you're when the XFL does it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, man. But uh, I don't I don't understand how the, the Players Association or anything like that, if they have what a Players Association, Association is going to let that fly, man. You the really players think, don't want it. You really think halftime gives, gives players a big break? Play, uh, players want halftime, Joey. Players Why, want halftime. though? Because it, it it allows them to heal their first half injuries. It gives them a break. It gives them a breather. It allows coaching to go over their playbook again. What went wrong in the first half that we can change in the second half? It allows everything. I feel like it stalls team, momentum. It, it, even if it does stall momentum, there's there's still a requirement at halftime. It, that, that's not the player's fault. That's not the team fault. It, 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 this is a coaching staff. If you can't get your team to play good in the second half, that doesn't fall on the players. That falls on your coaching staff. On top of that, I don't think games should end in field goals. Uh, you know, the NFL actually, uh, in the overtime rules, you know, they switched that where if a the, if the team hits a field goal, the other team gets an opportunity to score or match I don't that. think it should end in a field goal. You don't think it's an inner no. field goal? No. Huh? It's part I of the game. It's part of football, uh, man. It's part of the game. It's kind of a free kick, though. It's kind of like, okay, hold on. Let me let me, let me me just say this. Based off of my, when I'm watching a game and when I get upset when when a field goal is the way you you, Boy, you he, earn that victory. Hold on. Hold on. You still let like me finish football. it. No, I'm not saying that. Let me finish it. I'm saying the physicality of the actual game uh, – when it when it's going ha when it's happening right when you're seeing a field goal and you see a team win by a field goal all it is is the kicker and a ball <laughs> Joey it's That's part it. of football it's part of the game man but don't let the results of the game finish part, with a field it's goal it's part of the game it's I think football. it's a great part of the game but don't let it finish with the result the why result not? of the game why not it's a score <laughs> it's three points it's what you do it's what's how you it's how you get the object of football is to score more points than the other team and you're scoring more points than the other team as time expires exactly what it is Man, I'm calling Vince McMahon because he says he wants the ideas from the fans. I'm going to call him and I'm going to say, no field goal ending games, no half times. 
We're going to get rid of all that junk. And, and we're going to get rid of all this junk uh, of controversies and all that stuff that the NFL is going through right now. Good luck. He's going to hang up, hang the phone up on you, right? When I you don't say know. That. I hear Colin Kaepernick's already calling uh, to be a part of the XFL. <laughs> well, uh, let's hope. I mean, uh, I think Ka Kaepernick uh, deserves a football job, and XFL might be the place to go for him. Well, all I'm saying is give it a shot. The second time around, because I think they're going to do some innovative stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. A Joe. lot of I'm the things, excited. a lot of the things that the NFL is currently doing came from ideas from the XFL. Don't you can't lie about that. If you watched, I guess if you watched the was it the thirty to thirty behind the scenes, yeah. and they they did reveal some of the stuff like that camera angle uh, that you know that the NBC uses where it's on the field basically. But uh, look, I have nothing against the NFL. All I'm saying is, as a fan who who who, who just watches for the exciting element of a game. I feel like the things that I've brought up could make the game more exciting. Not by eliminating halftime.